Hey everybody, this is Christopher Small from CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to transfer your guns to your family. Before we get to that though, I want to remind you, if you wanna talk about this or anything else, have questions, wanna chat, you can set up a time to talk with us over the phone or in person by going to estatemeeting.com. Um, that is estatemeeting.com. Perfect. Okay, so today's topic, as usual, comes from a client conversation that I had today. We're doing a probate, and there are some guns in the estate. And um, this comes up um, rel relatively frequently. Whether you like guns or not, whether you are pro-gun or anti-gun, it doesn't matter. If they're in your family and they're supposed to go to someone, you're going to have to figure it out. That's why I'm here. Before I get to this, though, before I tell you sort of generally what to do, I want to remind you, or I want to um, plead with you to please, please, please don't do anything with your guns or with the guns that are in a, an estate that you are, are administrating without first talking to a lawyer, okay? Every state's gun rules are different. The gun rules are changing all the time. You wanna make sure that you're doing the right thing so you don't get in trouble. And I want you to do the right thing so that you don't get in trouble. Okay, now, with that being said, there are a couple of sort of general rules that you wanna, wanna know um, as you're dealing with guns, okay? Um, the first rule is that if you are dealing with a gun that is not a pistol and is also not sort of a um, federally defined as, a, as sort of a, a, one of the more dangerous weapons, I think we all sort of know what those are, um, then you can transfer those to a family member via probate, and I think even and via gift as well, without having to do anything. You don't have to file any paperwork. You don't have to do anything. You can simply give that firearm to your family member. Um, that's just the rule, okay? And the, I think the idea is that, you know, these guns are in the family. They should go um, to a family member with no problem. And this, by the way, is an immediate family member which would include sort of spouse, kids, grandkids, or brothers and sisters, things like that. If you have a, a pistol that you wanna to transfer to a family member, the process still is not that difficult, but I believe that you are going to have to go through the process of having like your ID checked, okay? Just don't want pistols floating around out there, I guess. And so they're gonna to have to do that. If you have an, an uh, uh, a, web, a gun that is sort of one of those federally defined, more dangerous type of guns, then you're definitely going to want to just reach out to a lawyer. You're gonna to wanna to reach out to your local ATF agent, agency, um, to your state's licensing arm, Google, and you're gonna to wanna to figure out what you're supposed to do, because typically there will be some more paperwork that's involved for that, even if you're transferring it to a family member, which is really what we're talking about right now. If you are transferring it to someone that is not a family member, let's say you are selling it, or you just want to give it away, or you're doing a probate and the will directs that the that the firearm goes to someone that's not a family member, that's when you're going to have to start doing some more paperwork. That's when you're going to if it becomes more of a transaction than a bequest, right? A bequest is just something that someone gives someone else via the will, but at that point in time, it becomes more of a transaction. Um, a government wants to uh, extract some money from you potentially, some time, but they definitely want to make sure that the person receiving the firearm is qualified to do so according to their standards. And remember, this is not a political video, okay? I'm not trying to be political. If you like guns, that's great. If you don't like guns, that's great. What we're really talking about is that scenario where you've got some guns in your family or in your estate and you want to pass them on or you're directed to pass them on to someone. You want to make sure that you're doing it legally correctly, safely, so that uh, you know you don't get in trouble, so that the beneficiaries don't get in trouble, so that uh, no one gets in trouble. That's the key, okay? So those are the general rules. It's pretty straightforward. Again, I would implore you, I would beg you, I would plead you to please, if you find yourself in this scenario, call an attorney so that they can figure out exactly where you're trying to send everything, so they can figure out exactly who you're trying to send it to, they can look up the rules and regulations and then they can direct you in a manner that's going to keep you out of trouble and allow you to make this transfer 
in a legal way that that's going to um, be good for everyone. All right. Okay, that's it. Once again, I'm Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. If you have questions about this or anything else and you want to talk some estate planning, you want to talk some probate, you want to just talk about life in general, um, then you can go to estatemeeting.com. You can book a time to talk with us over the phone or in person for free, estatemeeting.com. As always, thank you so much for your time. If you like this, please hit the like button. If you know someone that needs this, to hear this, please share it with them. If you are at a place where you can subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of these other important tips and strategies and nuggets um, regarding estate planning and probate. And thank you for your time. I will see you again tomorrow.